Hey, it's Shreen Bishmaya and I'm in Kerala, India still at the sunset. Look at the stunning sunset. And uh, we're getting ready for the new moon in Aquarius, which is happening on Friday. So it's really, and also Venus is in Pisces at this time, her favorite, her favorite sign where she's exalted. And um, so it's really nice to be near the ocean. Um, hopefully you can kind of hear the beautiful sound of the waves in the background. And we're really, um, with this new moon, we're feeling that shift from all the heavy Capricorn energy recently. We're going to be entering Aquarius cycle, even though the sun went in already a couple days ago. The real initiation happens on Friday, but uh, Saturn is still strong because the planets are still answering to Saturn and Capricorn. So it's still going to have a heavy signature, but there is a little more of the archetype of the star happening. Aquarius is the um, energy of the star, uh, the 17th major arcana. And so it's all about getting in touch with our goals and our hopes and our wishes. So in our dreams, uh, because of the Venus and Pisces. So it's a combination of like tapping into what really lights you up. Um, and if you were to be looking up at the stars, like which wish would you make on a star? It's the wish, on a, wish upon a star lucky star uh, new moon energy. So this is really a great time to evaluate what you want to be putting your energy into for the next six months. Um, it's also a sign of friendship and community and um, like kindred spirits, like the people you want to have, in, you know, in your tribe and the people that you really appreciate in your life as, as really good friends. So just use this energy to really tap into the kind of people that share your goals, share your value system, share your mindset. Because when we're not, we call it satsang in India, so being in the company of truth or people that are like-minded, really, we're so influenced by the people we spend time with and hang out with, right? So it's really essential to be with people who are your people and get you and support you and we're going to be really feeling that pull right now and with so much fake stuff out there <laughs> one of the songs one of my favorite songs in the new um Amma Bhajan list is about um the world being upside down which is so true right she says the world is upside down and truth is nowhere and it really feels like that so we need our friends who speak our truth. That satsang means gathering for truth, literally. So, um, yeah, wait, I'm gonna turn off. <laughs> so we're not having the um, people in the background wondering what the heck I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so this is really a time when we're looking for those people that we share truth with and bring us into truth because we're all craving the authentic right now. We're so sick of all the inauthentic right? I mean, Aquarius really kind of brings that home for us. We're spending time with people who really um, are on the same page. is so essential. So for the next week or so, we're going to be really in that Aquarius kind of seed level energy when the moon, until the moon starts waxing. But, you know, in March, Saturn is going to go into Aquarius going to dip in there just for a couple months like a preview of Saturn and Aquarius next year so that theme that we're setting at this new moon is going to be even, become even more important um, when Saturn goes into Aquarius very soon so think about what your goals are the kind of people you want to collaborate with who you want to have on your team who you want to be spending time with and Mercury is also Aquarius right now and Mercury is exalted in Aquarius so we can have some real breakthrough genius ideas happening over the next oh there's a bunch of crows look at this <laughs> amazing so we're gonna have a lot of breakthroughs um, with our thinking and ideas and kind of being more experimental and hopefully you know breaking out of our own limitations and the box you know our own box so be willing to experiment over the next month, over this next cycle. It's 
kind of the magic of Aquarius is the, the ability to break the status quo. And Uranus, of course, is in Taurus. That's the modern ruler of Aquarius. Saturn's the traditional ruler. Saturn's in Capricorn. But if we want to bring in that Taurus energy, we can look at um, embodiment. We can look at the embodiment piece and how important it is to really tap into like a deep listening of the body, like making time to tap into what your what your physical symptoms might be telling you, right? So we tend to ignore them until we get sick. And this is definitely flu season and all kinds of other things. There's crazy viruses breaking out in China. And so it's really indicative of taking care of our immune system right now. Like the certainly the red flags are there that we've got to take care of our immune system. So, you know, be willing to take rest, to do things that build you back up, build up your strength right now. And don't be with people who drain you as much as possible. Try to avoid people who would be more on the draining side because we need people who lift us up and inspire us and keep us wanting to, keep us um, trying harder, doing our best, right? So this, yeah, this is really that time where, time of year where we value our friendships more than ever and we hopefully celebrate our friendships and the friendships in our, all of our relationships, you know, like even the friendships with people that you would normally title as like a family member or a husband or wife, like what about the friendship basis with that? You know, honor where the, what it means to be the friend. Aquarius really teaches us that. So that's a beautiful message of Aquarius. And yeah, this is the preparation for Saturn going in in March. So look to see kind of maybe what might be coming for you. March. Oh, okay. <laughs> Getting a little loud. <laughs> maybe I'll just leave it here for now. I hope you have a beautiful new moon and I'll be back uh, to make a longer video about the Venus in Pisces, which is going to be happening still for a few more weeks.